sociales, representándolo. By chance, we came across the annual sheep shearing festival in Rio Majo. For three days, there are celebrations, shearing and horses. For the participants in the sheep shearing competition, it is first of all important to choose the most suitable sheep. Unfortunately, we have not found out which criteria are important. Before the competition starts, the head referee shows us how to do it right on a sheep. Nothing should be forgotten, even the legs and head should be freed from the wool. And above all, the sheep must not be injured. It is also important, at least for the competition, to remove the fleece in one piece from its wearer. And the competition already begins. The shearers pick up their sheep and start immediately. Strangely enough, the animal remained very calm during the procedure. This expert comments on the whole thing. He tirelessly describes what the boys are doing there. And these professional sheep shearers, who come from all over the area, really understand their job. It is quite sweaty to shear the sheep in a court. As soon as a sheep is ready, the fleece is put to the test. It is checked whether it's in good order and the thinner parts are discarded. But the sheep itself are also examined. First, whether everything was shaved clean and, of course, whether the animals would sustain wounds. Not all get away without injuries. Finally, the wool comes into the press. And the winner is celebrated and photographed. This festival brings together young and old from the surrounding villages and towns. Many have thrown themselves into their most beautiful Sunday clothes and there is a lot of drinking and eating. And a big asado, grilled meat, must not be missing, of course. And every year small and large sheep, queens and kings are chosen. Of course, it always looks very sweet with children. The full cute factor is therefore guaranteed. What we didn't know is that there is also a rodeo, but that should be obvious given the many horses. During the competitions here in Rio Maggio, the riders have to stay on the horseback for a certain amount of time. There are three categories, without saddle, only with a small pad and with a complete saddle. Though the horses are used to bucking and jumping around, they are on top heavily trailed with a whip and spurs. We found it difficult to get used to how the horses were handled here. Usually the gauchos treat their horses in a really friendly and respectful way because they are certainly dependent on them at work. But you have to give them their due they can ride. Mm -hmm. 
As soon as the specified time is up, two helpers come to safely lift the rider off his horse. And this horse is happy to be over the hump. Sometimes you wonder that horse and rider don't break anything. In the category we settle, we found the stirrups very special. Tja, these kicks are really unnecessary. Sunday. The final day of the three-day festival came up with a little surprise. The local rider groups and some of the rodeo participants had formed a big parade with beautiful bridal and traditional dresses. The route leads them through the whole village to the fairground. For us, of course, a feast for the eyes and the cameras. From old to young, women, men and children, everybody who has a horse and can ride is felt on the way. We can then look at all participants again from the stands. This father proudly took his little son on the horseback. So lovely. To top it all off, there is a lineup in front of the grandstand and the national anthem is played.